Hey guys, I'm Jenna from Tattoo You, and today I'm going to show you how to take your look from this to this, and exactly what products I use to do so. So let's get started. First I removed any previous makeup I had on before with two take off wipes. These are simply makeup remover wipes. Next I use Color Base, which is an eye primer. I recommend always priming your eyes because it helps the product adhere to the skin better and it increases wearability. Now let's start with the eyeshadow. First I'm using a color called Sandish and it's like a frosty beige color. I'm going to put this color all over my eyelids. Next I'm going to go in with a highlighter and this color is called Snowsicle. It's a super frosted white color and it's perfect for highlighting in that inner corner. Now I'm going to use a color called Vineyard. In this color it's like a taupey plum brown and I'm going to put that right underneath where I just used my highlighter, Snowsicle, and then the rest over my eyelid. And I'm blending it into Sandage which I previously put on because I kind of wanted it to be a lighter color than what it is. Now for the fun part. The darkest shade that I'm going to be using is called Jazzberry. I absolutely love this color. It's probably one of my favorite colors in the line. It's so versatile. You can make it dramatic or more subtle and it pairs greatly with the rest of the line. Alright, back to what I'm doing. I'm going to start with focusing on putting this on the corner of my eye. Then I'm going to add it onto my eyelid. And it's okay if you have those little fallout pieces. When you're done, you'll just remove them with a makeup wipe. And it's okay to take your time on this. I probably spend the most amount of time doing this because I just want that perfect shape and the perfect amount of product on there. Now I'm just going to remove those little fallout pieces. Okay, now I'm going back in with that sandish color that I used first. And I'm just going to blend all the colors together. Now I'm going back in with the vineyard color, that taupey brown color. And I'm just going to continue to blend all the colors in nicely together. And don't mind my brother-in-law Kevin in the background distracting me as I'm trying to do my makeup. Alright, now this step is optional. I like my highlights to really like pop, so I'm going back in with the Snowsicle color on the upper part of my highlight and then the inner corner. Now time for the brows. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but I have a tendency to pick at my brows and it leaves little gaps in my eyebrows, so I have to go in there and fill them. I'm using our brow pal called Java. As you can see before, it looks like I have no eyebrows until I do this. Now onto my eyeliner. I'm going to start with the inner corner and then just work my way down. I'm going to do both eyes with my eyeliner and then do the wing. And for this look I'm doing a subtle wing. I don't know why I start with doing both eyes and then I do the wing at the same time. I feel like it helps me do it more even or something. It's my total personal preference. I'm not saying it's the right way, it's just the way I do it. And 
try to never rush when you're doing this because it's tricky to do. If you're not familiar with the eyeliner you're using or the pen, it's hard to do. So practice makes perfect. And now I'm just gonna do my waterline. And just be careful when you're doing that. Now onto my lashes. I'm using Tattoo Lash. I absolutely love this mascara. It's great for increasing length and volume. I tried so hard not to make an awkward face while doing that. All right, now on to my face. I'm using Two Cover U in the shade Light Beige for underneath my eyes. And I have really dark circles under my eyes, so I use this product about every day because it helps me look more awake and like alive. And if you like doing your eyes first when you're doing your makeup, just be careful when applying your concealer so you don't ruin that wing or the waterline. Next, I'm gonna use Extreme Cream Foundation in the shade Treasure Tan. And I'm gonna put this all over my face. And I'm using the brush to brush you to apply the product all over my face. And then once I have it all on, I'm going to blend it all over. After I'm done blending, I'm going to use 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Beach Glow. And I'm going to put this all over my face. I like using this after my cream foundation because it helps the skin look more natural and it helps the extreme cream foundation settle in. Now it's time to add some color to my cheeks. I'm gonna use two blushes, but I'm gonna start with the blush in Expose, which is the darkest shade. And I'm gonna do a simple contour on my cheekbones. Don't mind my awkward face when doing this. And then I'm also gonna apply it right above my hairline, above my eye. And now I'm going to use the blush in shade Naked Kiss. I'm just gonna put that right onto my cheeks and then I'm going to blend it all together. And just keep blending. All right, to the complete this look, I kind of wanted to do something deep and sexy on my lips. So I'm going to use a lip pencil in the shade Hyper. Kind of like a plummy color. Don't mind Jason in the background. Now I'm going to apply a matte lipstick in the shade New Generation. And this is like a pinkish plum color. All right, almost done. Now I'm just gonna fix any mistakes that I made when doing my face on my eyes. 
All right, and there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Kevin. Are you serious? I'm representing yes. We were here. 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 We were